fist. Ooh. This is a matchup that I'd really like to see. These are two oh, players yeah. that I think are going to be really fun to watch. So this is this is my best friend's pool. He had Kage first round. Oh. And we actually really thought he could do it. Uh, he goes by Warrior Knight. Um, Warrior Knight? Yeah. I know, I know him. Yeah, and uh, he's been playing a lot of Cat and the Falcon lately, and uh, he's been really practicing it, but I guess he didn't get enough. I mean, Kage's an amazing player, yeah. so definitely not That's discredited with Kage good. at all. Kage. Um, but on the other side of the bracket for this pool is s -Fat. So this pool was like super stacked. Oh, this Kage, s -Fat, and Warrior Knight. A lot of these pools are stacked like that, too. Yeah. I mean, it's that is, that is, you that, got to make it out to the qualifiers pool. if you don't want to stack pool, bro. That's that's the thing. A lot of these players couldn't make it. There was only a few qualifiers, um, and a lot of it because it's the East Coast kind of crew, Apex. A lot of the qualifiers are generally on the East Coast, so a lot of the West Coast and Canadian players and international players can't really make it out to the qualifiers. Yeah, and the few that they can, like Rom. Like, you have Muta King and Hacks and all these other... Well, Hacks didn't make it to this year's ROM, but Muta King, Hungry Box were pretty much dominating force at this year's ROM. Yeah, they very much. And here we go. Kage versus Visk. Ganon versus Luigi. Battle of the mid-tier heroes. Everybody's <laughs> favorite players right here. Visk did an amazing job. I believe he got fourth at Zenith uh, last year. Yeah, he's a very good uh, very good player. Yeah, he's a... J just in general, like not even as a Luigi player, but just uh, with his knowledge of the game. He's very solid. Yep. I heard, um, I hadn't seen him play very recently, but I I had to play him at ROM 5, and I beat him in a very close set. So I wasn't really crediting him when I was doing my notes. And then Warrior Knight was like, nah, bro, he's like way better now, like way, way better. Let's, so let's see what he's at. He's already he's zero death Kage Zero now. percent. <laughs> That's, Kage to that that kind of speaks for itself when you zero to death Kage with Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Luigi's got a whole lot of mobility, something Ganon does not have. Yeah. Ganon has that raw power. If he smacks you once, just hold that 15. Smacks you again, hold this 20. Yeah. We have something called the three hit rule with Ganondorf. If you don't uh, kill your opponent after hitting him three times with Ganondorf, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> that is how, that's how beefy Ganondorf is. On this stage, we might change it to the four or five hit rule, but. Yeah. Great combo by Vist. He's really showing his uh, knowledge of his character, juggling Ganondorf pretty well. Uses the fireball to make his recovery safe. Kage sniffs out the Waveland recovery and uh, trades with it. Great DI by Vist, but just not enough. It's a very patient, uh, very patient punish there as well. A lot of Ganondorf would have just gone for the jump up air. Because what the up air can do is it'll reach all the way behind Ganondorf and it'll actually act as an edge guard. Yep. Ooh, is that Stomp? Nice, Waveland back. Baited out the aerial, but was just out of range and was able to punish it. And things like that is why Kage is such a good player, because you need to do stuff like that to increase Ganondorf's mobility yep, and definitely. cover a lot of options. Yeah, he just got all the way to the middle of the stage with just one way run or walk. So being able to make Ganondorf a fluid character is very important to controlling. Double wizard foot recovery. Oh, nice tech on the down air. Nice tech, and the momentum still carried him over after the tech. That's something to see. Uses the wizard's foot for a surprise attack on Vist. Uses the fireball. Covers using Wave that. Wave up smash to catch Kage's jump, and it's a success. This has a very slight lead now. Any hit, straight hit, could probably kill him. Great DI. This is DI has been yeah. really on point. If you don't DI Ganon towards attacks properly, uh, you pretty much just disappear. Ooh. Yeah, like like you cool. exit the TV and go to the next <laughs> TV. Like that's how fast you leave the TV. Great up air control yep. by Ganondorf. Oh, so you just slip early. Someone's uh, up above Ganondorf. If they're pressuring his shield and then they jump up above him waiting for them to maybe jump out of their shield, just be like, no, I'm just going to jump up air. I'm going to beat pretty much whatever you're trying to come down with. Yep. Oof, with a tricky dash dance, this was not ready for the back air. Like, just like that, Ganondorf takes the lead. Kage doing so much work right now. Spaced pairs, making sure he's not punished. Ooh, jumping up on that platform, not too good of an idea. At this point, Kage is happy to take any trades until he loses this stock, because his moves just add so much percent when they hit Luigi. So, oof. Oh, this is not sniffing out either. Kage, 
edge guarded him so passively the first few stocks that he's kind of just letting himself passively fall to the ledge. And now Kage's like, nope, turn it up. This time you're not getting on that way. Great jab Ooh. by this to stop the second up B, but the exact same thing happened during the second stock, I believe. Yeah. Well, actually, the second stock, uh, he just got grabbed by the up B. Like he did, he just did the down air, and then Kage did up B, up B, and grabbed him. This time he jabbed it in anticipation, but wasn't able to do anything else. Great up, uh, using, up there. using that recovery uh, tactic quite often, and it's working really well, where he doesn't use his jump when you think he was going to be using his jump when he's off screen. Yep. But he saves it, does the down B helicopter, gets a little bit of height, and then jumps up with an up air, and then goes for his up B. Yep. And that's a great tip for newer players. Like, if you're looking to get into this game, one of the things newer players do is they try to cancel out their momentum from flying away with a jump. And they yeah. waste their jump immediately, and it leaves them with almost no options on recovery. You yeah. want to save your jump for as long as possible so you can mix up your recovery, uh, and your opponent can't really edge guard you as effectively. Also, sweet spotting your jump is almost always safer than sweet spotting your up B. Most up Bs have a really awkward sweet spot range, and it's very predictable, but your jump usually has a pretty big magnet depending on your character. So it looks like we're getting the salty run back. Yep. Kage was down at the start of that game, but he made a really strong recovery. Yeah, he did very, very strong took recovery. Took it com pretty convincingly towards the end. Let's see if uh, Biz can adjust this game. We've seen a lot of reads from Kage right now. Yeah, great shield movement by Viz. Most players don't know that you can actually control where on your character your shield is. So this knows that Kage is using aerials to poke him, so he's moving his shield upwards by slightly tilting his control stick so that the shield so that the attacks don't poke his forehead and knock him off stage. Alright, nice back air out of shield there. Try tried to keep Kage off the stage. Didn't really work out. Ooh. Oh, back very up. risky Ooh. side B by Viz. He didn't mean to land like laying down like that on the floor, but the upbeat just the animation never ended. And yeah. unfortunately he was in a risky position versus Kage. Kage capitalized. And he's really liking See? being on those platforms, which is which is bad for him. It for this you mean, right? Yeah. Yeah, for this. I mean it does allow him kind of room to get away, but he's not quite using it right. I think yeah. maybe if he changes up his uh, his platform game just a little bit, then he can use it to get away from Kage and maybe drop back down to a favorable position. Favorable position. A lot of Luigi's mobility comes from his way dash, which is, as you can see, is so slippery. So a lot of Luigi players tend to rely on that more because his jump is so slow and floaty. Like you feel very vulnerable when you jump off the ground. But against characters like Ganondorf and Captain Falcon, who have such an amazing up air, you, you just can't let them poke at you from below. Like it's just it's way too powerful. Great tech by Viz there. If he had got, would have just gone for the cancel. If he had gotten a misfire there, that would have been pretty epic. But unfortunately, it was just a regular one, and Kage punished him for it. All right, there we go. Very nice. Falls all the way through the platform. A lot of players will get stuck on those platforms when trying to fall through them. Great tech chasing by this right now. He's trying to finish the stock without taking too much damage. Kage is almost at the up smash kill percent. This is fishing for it. Nice new player. Nice not quite going to do it. This is Dreamland. Ooh, really nice pressure. Really nice bait. Wave this dash in on his shield, did the jab, and then from the other side of his shield, carrying over with the momentum of the wave dash, went for a back air. Really nice tactic. Mist is realizing that Kage likes to react after his shield gets touched, as you can see right there. So he's he's baiting it out with really deep wave dashes and punishing accordingly when Kage tries to move. It's a great play by Mist. Surprise wizard's foot doesn't and get it. It's working very, very well right now. Nice edge guarding. Ganondorf's wizard's foot in the air recovers so quickly that he's able to use it almost always to come back, regardless of how far he flew. And you can see Kage just throws it out without fear. Really nice Kage's tech. Kage's are so on point. And he's living! Oh, man. Oh man, great DI by Kage. Kage is just not gonna die. He refuses. Like, you will not take this stock lane. I will get some damage. I am the king of evil. <laughs> I have purple feet. I've got the Triforce. Damn it, I got slapped across my face. <laughs> you are not my pimp, Luigi. I don't <laughs> care if you're wearing pink. Stop it, Luigi. Oh, great combo by 
Kage reads the eye. Kind of a risky Ooh. recovery there by Viz. He tried to block himself with the fireball, but it was a little too high. Luckily, Kage didn't punish. But Kage's not letting go yet. He's going to keep control of Dreamland for as long as he can. Oh, nice tag. This nice recovery was phenomenal there, but Kage was just ready for all the options. You can show he has, you can see he has some experience in the matchup. Oh, 22, hold that. <laughs> 22 back, 22, 22, hold 22. that. <laughs> mm. It's really trying to put on the pressure there. Gets a reversal from Kage though. Very even, 66, it was 66 to 77% right there. Ooh. This match is so close. This needing this Ooh. for his tournament life. Oh, oh, unfortunately, exactly. not enough DI there. And Kage moves on to winner's finals of his pool. This is still in the loser's bracket though, so we might see a little bit more of him.